our day heading on another tour with GoAsiaDayTrips.com. I'm in the old quarter right now. I'm waiting for my pickup. You guys don't have to do this. You just get picked up right at your hotel. Guys, welcome to the show today. I go by the name of Brian. This channel is called Fill Your Eyes Only. As you can see, Caitlin and Sum Sum are not with me today. Summer woke up last night. She had kind of like a fever, a temperature, I should say. Uh, it might be just teething, but as a precautionary, we didn't want to force her on a little trip, so they're staying at home. I miss them already. I'm sure you guys miss them too. here at Taitin Monastery. It's about one and a half hours drive outside the city of Hanoi. You're in a nice little mountainous area. The air is fresh. It's a beautiful day. Let's go explore. Okay, so I'm standing at the front gates right now and then where we're supposed to be is way up on that mountain. Way up there. As soon as you get off here, there's a bunch of like people telling you that you can't walk. It's far and it does look really far and they want you to pay for like a, a ride. I don't know. Seems pretty far. Should I walk? I'm not sure yet. All right, so I was about to get the drone up and then a security guard came over and told me I wasn't allowed to here. So we're not doing a flight. Let's go take a walk, have a closer look. Huge difference once you pass those gates. It's like peaceful and quiet. So far, happy with the choice of walking. Gotten about this far, which is to say not that very far, but uh, beautiful, it's peaceful. It's starting to drizzle a little bit, but it doesn't even matter. It's so great out here. As you can see, monastery is still way up there. Lady on the bike trying to get me to take a bike ride followed me the whole way. I took my time too, I was taking pictures and everything. I still don't know, like, maybe I should walk it to see, but then I'm carrying a big backpack. Way up there. All right, it's tough to say no to a ride. I don't really know how far that is, but let me try it out for you, and if it's a hustle, I will tell you not to take these ones, but I'll take it for you, and we'll see what happens, all right? up to the top here I'm gonna go ahead and say there's no way that I could have walked that or there's no way that anyone should walk that so get a bike mine costed 100k I could have talked her down a little bit more she started 120 but I was like 100's fair you know what I mean or I see a couple tour buses up here I don't know why my car didn't bring me up but whatever that's where we just walked from that's really far and we're really high up right now so uh, yeah it was pretty steep hill all right let's go up these uh, stairs I'm sweating like crazy, but so beautiful and peaceful up here. Alright guys, I'm just waiting for my ride to take me back down the mountain and I'm seeing your comments coming in. They're all saying stick with the small camera. You know what? I agree because this thing is heavy and like in the edit it takes me longer too because I have to adjust the volume. Good choice. Let's switch back right now. Whew, there we go. Way lighter to carry. Everything about this is more simple and streamlined. I mean the other camera is better but you just need more things to make it look better, right? Like, I need a tripod, I need a sli I need a, yeah. It just, 
it's not meant for vlogging. So far, this place is really beautiful. It's so peaceful and everything at the monastery. Um, I got the drone up. That's awesome. My Se Om lady, she was like, once you're up there, just go ahead and fly it. They're not going to know. Don't worry. I was like, all right. <laughs> Again, I'm going to definitely say do not walk up to that monastery. Get a bike if your tour bus is not going up. I'm going to check out a second monastery now, further down. The thing with these day trips, you definitely get your exercise. I guess I see you somewhere around Oh, I guess I see you somewhere around Oh, I guess I see you somewhere around I gotta start remember bringing that fan thing on these trips don't let me forget again, guys. All right, so my driver gave me the number. As soon as I was done, I called. Boom, right here. That's how you do it. Got the AC turned up for me, too. Really nice in here. Pretty comfy ride, you know? It was supposed to be for just three people. This would have been amazing for three people. It's lonely for one. All right, just like the last tour, all the meals are included. Today, we're stopping at some restaurant on the side of the street. It's pretty random. We'll see how it is. Really excited for this meal. We're just gonna have like a humble workers lunch here, some rice, chicken, vegetables, good home cooking stuff. We're heading up the mountain right now to a little town called Tam Dao. It used to be the retreat of like the French people that used to live in the country. It's also called the Dalat of the North. I'm excited to see this. That's where I'm staying for the night. A lot of development happening in this little town that I can see right away. All right, a room for the night. Nice bed, all you need. A little flat screen. Darn it, can't win them all. All right guys, we're in beautiful Tam Dao. Really cute little sleepy mountain town. The fog is just rolling in right now, but there was a little bit of blue skies when I was rolling in and I was like, wow, bunch of house on the hills and everything. Apparently this is the uh, hot spot for wedding photos. It's like a wedding convention up here, holy. Another one there, another one there, another one there. Really cute little houses up here the way they're built. Setting up for tonight's barbecue. Hey, everything's in a glass case, sanitary, good stuff. Good area to eat a meal right there. Oh, I guess I see you somewhere around. Stairs. Can't avoid them. Work out. I feel good. Lots of like new development for hotels. The old school houses. Pretty cool town. It's really quaint and like peaceful and beautiful. That house on the hill right there looks pretty cool. It looks like a pretty good view. Mountain weather, the rain started coming down a little bit, so I'm just hiding out, having a coffee here. And uh, hopefully it stops soon and then we can explore the town a little bit more, maybe get the bird up. All right, the rain stopped. Blue skies are back. Hey, weddings are still being shot back there. Tons of Weddings. This is where I was just hiding out, having a little coffee. It's like a little uh, ski lodge chalet. Sounds like they're gearing up for a party tonight. My hotel's right there. How late is this gonna go? Yes. Fresh catch of the day. These guys look like some catfish to me. Looks like a mouse catfish. I just mean it looks like a catfish that has a mouth, mouse nose. Not that there's such thing as a mouse catfish. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I haven't seen the moon in a long time. I've walked around, I've checked it out. All the places are kind of selling the skewers for the same price. So I'm gonna pick this one because it like looks like a lot of people eat here. It's bumping, you know? Try it out. Look at this selection right here. It's a you pick it. I wanted to let me grill it too. Each of these sticks is 15K. Craziness. Look at this plate right here. Barbecue skewers and a little barbecue rice. So this is the one that I've been told to try. 
It's the local mountain pork. It's all local mountain pork, but the green, it's called susu. And apparently it's like their local morning glory, Ramung style, whatever. Mm. That's amazing. That pork is like really tender. Great flavor to it. And then the, the veg, it's like still got retains its crunchiness, but it's like melting your mouth. I'm gonna try this skewer here. This one's with chayote. And apparently the chayote is local up here too. It's something you gotta try, so that's why I picked this skewer. Yeah. Wow, the pork is so tender and like fresh. Like, oh my god. Mm. Not dry at all, just like tender melts in your mouth. Some of the best pork I've ever had. Wow. Alright, I want to try this guy right here. This is a uh, beef. Baby beef. <laughs> really tender. This one, you can taste a lot of the marinade. Lemongrass, ginger in there. The two first pork ones, it was very mellow on uh, seasoning. It's just like maybe just salt and pepper, but the pork came through very heavy. This one, punchy on the uh, seasoning. I like, I like it all. Mm. A little fatty, really good though. I don't mean like bad fat, I mean like good fat. I got this guy because I think it's pineapple and what better combo than pork and pineapple, right? Mm. Barbecue pork, barbecue pineapple. Winning combo right there. And I don't know what this one is, but it looked good. Also pork wrapped around some sort of veg. Mm. Same pork, really herbaceous, kind of like um, kind of like broccolini that's wrapped inside there. Really good. Race tube. <laughs> Oh no, it fell on my peanuts. Okay, we're good. We're good still. Barbecue rice. Taking the plain white rice. Next level. How can you not like it? This uh, local veg one, the susu. Really good flavor to it. It's very lemony. And I'm not, I don't think it's from the marinade. I feel like the actual vegetable is like, has a little citrusy flavor to it. It filled up real quick. Barbecue is amazing. This whole street, they're selling all the same stuff, same price. Definitely recommend getting your barbecue. It's only 15 k here. So tasty. Guys, what an awesome first day. Thank you again to Go Asia Day Trips. This has been amazing already. We got a whole nother day tomorrow. I gotta get on this edit, and I will see you guys tomorrow. It's been for you guys only. Oh, I guess I see you somewhere around.